Yeah, it looks like it's missing something. Definitely looks like it's missing something. And welcome back to the channel. Today, today we're gonna do something about the gap in my console. Oh yeah. Over here on the passenger seat, we have a pair of solutions. So this is the part number. This is a one inch metal plate, kind of hard to see it in the little plastic baggie there. And then over here, we have, I guess they call it a pocket. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop this pocket down in there and then use a little metal plate to fill in the gap. So here we go. This is what's inside of this box. And this is gonna have to go down in here somewhere, wherever it fits, I guess. So what that'll do is that'll create kind of a little cubby pocket and have us put a little piece of, I don't know what that is, uh, almost like foam or felt or something. And uh, now that I got a little hole in the plastic bag, you can actually see what this thing is. It is literally just a piece of metal. So this will go up here somewhere uh, to kind of cover up that little bit of a gap. What I might do is kind of angle it because it is just a hair too long and I think that's because of this little plastic piece right here. I mean, maybe I could take the plastic piece off and then slide the cup holder down, but we'll see. I mean, I'm not sure, but I think that'll look a heck of a lot cleaner and then I'll, uh, I guess I can take this little baggie out of there, but yeah, then I'll have a nice little place to kind of drop things into, cup holder, and uh, actually be doing something useful with the uh, little base plate there. Oh yeah, I think I like it. All right, so first things first, I went ahead and pulled these four bolts out so I could just push this just a little bit so that I could wedge this plate up here. Now, this has to go here because of the mounting bolts on this side because there's actually bolts on the inside here that would protrude into the side of this little cubby or pocket or whatever you want to call it so this spacer this little cover piece has to go here i don't really have a choice here so i can't move this over here and put this little cover piece here so this has to be here this has to be here and this has to be here so that's just going to be the way it is now if i wanted to put this on the back side i would have had to mount the mounting plate this thing with these, I don't know if you can see them, but that one, uh, that one, and uh, that one would have to be over on this side. So there you go. But yeah, I went ahead and pulled those four screws so I could slide this over, I don't know, maybe a half a millimeter or something. So I get just enough space so that this sits flat, this sits flat, and then this sits flat. So I'll go ahead and uh, bolt these things down and uh, show you guys the final result. And here we go. That is the finished product right there. And like I said, this is like some kind of, I don't know, oops, sorry about the uh, little cord there. But this is like some kind of like, I don't know, like plasticky felt thing. I mean, I don't know. I don't really have sensation in my fingers anymore. That's a whole another different story. But there you go. So it's got this little thing in the bottom. Um, as like last time, Torx T20. To take these uh, little screws in and out, you can kind of see right there that they are little star head guys. And uh, as with all the other Havis stuff I've got, I, I have enough extra screws to, you know, basically put in a whole nother piece to the console should I lose a bunch of screws. It's almost like they understand that you might drop one into some crazy little crevice under the seat and never see it again, so they give you a few extras, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's pretty thoughtful. But there you go. There is my Havis console that I added to the uh, Impala. So I think it's looking good. Looking good. As always, appreciate you guys checking out the video. Thanks for stopping by. Love to each and every one of you, and uh, have a beautiful day. See you on the next one. A little bit after five on Father's Day, Sunday, and realistically, it doesn't matter when we do this. Whenever I try to drive anywhere, because people in Florida just can't drive. We just can't do it. It's five on a Sunday, and we still crash in cars. <laughs> we don't know how to drive over here. Fear the Florida tag. Fear it. <laughs>